final Delta II here is a, an amazing vehicle. Um, Delta II launch vehicle that we're launching this morning for the ISAT-2 mission is a 7420 version, which is a 7000 series vehicle which uses four graphite epoxy solid rocket motors, an AJ-10 stage engine, and no third stage. That's what the 420 stands for. The Dash 10C is the composite fairing for today. The core of the Delta II rocket, or first stage, utilizes RP-1 and liquid oxygen to power the Aerojet Rocketdyne RS-27A engine. In, conjun in conjunction with the RS-27A, we have four graphite epoxy solid rocket motors, or GEMS, uh, that are ground lit, and they provide that extra thrust to give ISAT out of Earth's atmosphere. The Delta II rocket second stage uses Aerozine 50 and nitrogen tetroxide to fuel the Aerojet Rocketdyne AJ-10 engine. The second stage provides the power needed to put ISAT-2 into its initial orbit. During ascent, of course, the spacecraft needs to be protected, and we do that with a 10-foot composite fairing. All of these features of the Delta II vehicle play an important role in getting ISAT mission on its way to study ice, cloud, and land elevation. Great. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Liftoff of the final Delta II, launching nearly three decades of science research and exploration missions, lifting ISAT-2 on a quest to explore the polar ice sheets of our constantly changing home planet. Seven seconds into flight. 30 seconds in, Mach 1, Delta 2 is now supersonic. Continuing to see good chamber pressure on the RS-27, both veneer engines as well, uh, seeing consistent uh, fuel and oxidizer injector pressures as well. And at T plus 46 seconds, max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Seven seconds in, we have wet burnout on the uh, solid rocket motors, seeing good responses. And we have burnout on all four motors. To, and Delta will hold on to those motors for an additional 20 seconds prior to jettison. Now one minute, 20 seconds in, standing by for motor jettison. And we have good indication Indication of jettison of all four all solid rocket motors. Now one minute, 30 seconds into flight. Continuing to see good chamber pressure on the RS-27, good chamber pressures on both veneer engines as well. Seeing stable pressures on the uh, fuel and oxidizer injector pressures. Vehicle body rates uh, looking stable. Now one minute, 55 seconds into flight. And two minutes, 10 seconds in. And the booster bi-level charge is fired to maintain necessary ullage pressure in the booster. LOX tank ullage pressure response looks good. Two minutes, 25 seconds in. The booster is now beginning powered flight guidance. Body rate response looks good. And just under two minutes now remaining until MECO. And at two minutes, 45 seconds into flight, continuing to see good performance on the RS-27 main engine and uh, good chamber pressures on both veneer engines as well. Vehicle body rates remain very stable. Now passing three minutes into flight. Continuing to see good haulage pressures on the uh, fuel and oxidizer tanks. Good uh, fuel and oxidizer inlet pressures as well. And now one minute remaining until MECO. Three minutes, 30 seconds into flight.
RS-27 continuing to perform well, stable chamber pressure and fuel and oxidizer injector pressures, and seeing good stable pressures on both veneer engines. Now passing four minutes into flight. Approximately 20 seconds remaining until engine cutoff. And booster has stopped active guidance in preparation for MECO. Standing by for engine cutoff. And we have cutoff of the RS-27. Vernier engines continuing to burn as expected. Standing by for veneer engine cutoff. And we have good veneer engine cutoff. And now 4 minutes, 45 seconds into flight. We've seen good, uh, good separation of stage 1 and 2 and good ignition on the second stage. 4 minutes, 55 seconds into flight. Chamber pressure on the AJ-10 looks good. Body rate's looking good. And we have good indication of fairing jettison. And this first burn of today's mission will last approximately 6 minutes 15 seconds.